<laughs> Yo, what's up people? Will Clark here and welcome to your 34th appointment in the barber shop. This month's show we've got tracks from Doom and Dumb, Huxley, uh, also new records for myself and I got my homies in the studio getting a trim in the barber's chair. Keep it locked and enjoy. Welcome to the barber shop. <laughs> I don't think your mic's working. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You've got to talk in the mic, lads. One, two, check. check. There we go. Check. All right, we've got, we got sound. Coming in hot, Nick Monaco, drama, and guess who's on the remix? Come on, a guess. Marco Loco. Dan. Get, it's Nick Monaco and the record called Drama. Who, who do you reckon's on the remix? Uh, Will Clark. In one. Yeah, He's the better come friend. On. Give me a high five. Yes, yeah. mate. So, nice. great track. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got uh, two of my closest friends in the studio for the uh, cross special edition. You're all going to hear why I've got these boys in the studio for a cross special. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave you with uh, Nick Monaco, my remix drama out on the 27th September on Dirty Bird. <laughs> to the barbershop with Will Clark. Will Clark. Oh, baby. 
we're currently doing an Instagram live whilst recording this. I thought it'd be good to get my homies in. Coming in next, Marin, Virgo 4. Stefan Bratz and the track's called Realize. It's naughty. It's nice. Yeah. Naughty. I like that. We need to turn your mic up. I'll just speak closer. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Yeah. Do it again. I like that. That's good, man. lads two years ago this month was it in September you came out cross That's festival February wasn't it was it February yeah yeah no yeah it was one of those it was the early part of the year it wasn't um, <laughs> September why did I think it was September anyway so I played my first cross festival two years ago yeah about that um, and I invited, well, I invited Dan out. Dan wanted to come out on a nice, chilled uh, holiday. Yeah, let me explain. So initially I was going out to uh, <laughs> see Will for a nice, chilled out holiday. You know, do a bit of me time. You know, find out what sort of person I am, that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously see my mate Will and see him play. And then Mr. Honeywell next to me here. He caught wind of this and he wanted to come as well and it basically changed the whole dynamic of the trip. basically invited myself <laughs> so that I could ruin Dan and Will's, well, Will's career and Dan's holiday. But I think it kind I think of... think everybody it, liked me better than them it, too. It progressed my <laughs> career, I think. And then you guys, you ruined your shoes, your brand new trainers, um, and ruined some other lives and, and some nice brain cells. <laughs> Everyone definitely liked us more than Will, so we'll just definitely. leave it at that. One hundred percent. Hashtag Will Clark's mates. Remember that. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Jamie Jones cousins. Oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> right, uh, moving on. Keep it locked. We are in the barber's chair. Barber's chair. We're in the barber shop. Thirty fourth edition. Coming in. Some techno. Psych and voice print.
What do you reckon of the record, lads? Dark, isn't it? you got to speak in the mic, Jace. It's quite dark record, I think. It's one of these late night sort of chuggers. I really like it, mate. It reminds me of uh, San Diego, actually. <laughs> when uh, Which club did we go in? Spin. We ended up in Spin. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, late night Spin. Good club. Really good club, really good club. Why did you like it so much? Just proper heavy. We'll yeah. It's a really nice VIP area at the back where we basically <laughs> spent most of the evening chilling out. Was it you that licked somebody's shoe? No. Who was that? No, that was me. I, uh, licking someone's foot, was it? <laughs> no, you licked someone's trainer. Sneaker no, it's definitely in America. Foot. Did you lick a foot? Might have been a couple of toes involved as well. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That was a cool clap. Anyway, hope you're uh, all enjoying the show. Hit us up at DJ Will Clark on Twitter. What's your Twitter, Jace? Jason Honeywell. <laughs> Instagram at Jason Honeywell. <laughs> Billionaire lifestyle. Billionaire. MySpace, Jason Honeywell. <laughs> Bebo. And if you're going back, I'm talking face party, yeah? <laughs> face party, man. Boom. Westwood style bomb. What happened to face party? It's still going. I might better check my profile. It's probably, I've probably got two or three likes now. Pop in. Pop in. Right, let's let some music roll. Psych and voice print. You're locked into the barbershop with Will Clark. Will Clark. Absolutely pumping track. This monster. Franz Ferdinand always ascending in his Nina Kravitz on the house remix. Nina Kravitz done an awesome job, fair play. She's done pretty good, hasn't she? She has. She has done pretty good. By the way, I feel a little bit left out. My uh, Instagram is <laughs> at Closeyboy. <laughs> That's C L O S E Y B O I. It's all, all about Boy. the eye. Boy. Come on, come on. 
It's groovy this. Got talking to the mic. I quite like this one. It's good, isn't it? It's nice, nice vibe on it. So it's dumb, dumbing dumb, rush midnight, three pills into a fist. Um, and this is a Ten Walls remix. So is that obviously, the name? obviously, there's like a lot of controversy around Ten Walls a few years back, but he writes bloody good music. I don't agree with his views, but his music's sick. What do you think, lads? Yeah, I like this tune. It's a good track. Is he making a comeback then? I don't know. He's been releasing records ever since what happened. So I guess he was off the radar for a bit and now he's... Probably, yeah, back on it. Slowly coming back. No, Um, I like it. He's a very, very good producer. Yeah. Really liking his style. Oof. Heavy. This reminds me a little bit of uh, Spin Nightclub. (laughs) San Diego. (laughs) So as if you've just uh, tuned in, this is the Cross special with uh, myself, Will Clark, and my homies, Dan Close and Jason Honeywell. Hey, everyone. The reason why I got these boys on the show is they actually came to me on my first Cross festival. And... Yeah, they had fun. Put it that way. It was a sick festival, mate. Honestly, wicked. I like the stage you were on as well. I had like the jungle theme. Remember that? The it was palms. just like yeah, it was all like the trees and that. Wicked. What about the uh, trailer at the back? The the trailer was good from what I remember. <laughs> but I really like the um, the artist tent with all the booze in there. That was really good. That's the only thing I can vaguely remember. Actually, you spent all day in there. Yeah, pretty much spent all day there. You know, like, we came to see Will, <laughs> genuinely. <laughs> We've seen him for, like, five minutes at the end. I think most of the time me and Dan were in the tent drinking all the free alcohol that they seem to get, these uh, DJs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when we got caught in there by someone, they we thought we were going to get thrown out, and actually they provided us with more alcohol. So, happy days, really. Winning. Right, let's let someone roll. But she is all I hear is no You're locked into the barbershop with Will Clark. Will Clark.
Jesus, the same one. Coming in next, my homie Huxley, and the record is called Elephant. Out now on Moon Harbor. Sick. into the barbershop with Will Clark. Crazy uh, sound that, isn't it? Like sounds like an real, elephant. Like a, yeah, real square, wavy type thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure how he made it. It's like a horny, really hollow sound. Wow, wow. you smashed it, dude. Take it, you like it, boys? Yeah, man, I really like that one. Yeah, Huxley, mate, you've done a massive job on this. Fair play. Really want to know how you made that sound, so uh, let us know. Watch your Twitter. He'll let you know. <laughs> At Jason Honeywell. <laughs> uh, slide into my DMs if you want. At Closey Boy. <laughs> Coming up next, Barber's Chair. Gonna get a trim with the lads. Uh, playing you some new records that I'm digging at the moment. Who's stepping into the barber's chair this month? 
So it's trim time, and I've still got the boys uh, in the studio. Hey. Say hi, everybody. How's it going? Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> what was the American what was that? accent, man? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Just getting in the zone, isn't I? <laughs> so, new record. Um, I had to get some permission from him. Uh, one of my homies, Rebuke, aka Ruben Keeney. Um, this record's called Poser's Ray Gun. I really like this. He's doing something special. Um, I want to know your thoughts on this one, lads. So I'm going to pause the mics and then we can get back to it. Good one, isn't it? Fair play. Who did you say it was? Rebuke. Um, it's he used to be known as Ruben Keeney. Oh, um, that, um, from Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. Ireland Ruben. I, I remember him. Yeah. yeah. He's a cool dude, man. Um, we still keep in touch. He sent me this. He's just signed some records to some bigger labels as well. Um, but yeah, I love this record. I've been playing it for a while. Uh, it slams dance floors because people don't really know what's going to happen. It goes into like the old '90s rave and then it goes back into the groove. Yeah, really good track. What do you think, Jace? Yeah, mate, absolutely digging that. Yes, they like it. As it's the Cross Festival special on the barbershop, uh, 
Going to give you a bit of a rundown on the lineup. You got Duke Dumont, Bob Moses, Big Wild, Marianne Hill, Sophie Tucker. Don't know how to say her name, Kira, maybe. With Kiara. 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 Uh, Flight Facilities, Mount Kimby, Hayden James, Panu, Autograph, Elderbrook, The Legend, White Cliffs, Nations, Shalua, and special guest Louis the Child. On the Palms, Claptown, Claptown, Claptone, Dusky, Anti Up, which is The Boys, Chris Lake, and Chris Lorenzo, AC Slater, Jack Beats, Detlef, Darius, some bloke called Will Clark, Thomas Jack, Miha, Left Wing Cody, Cut Snake, Ardlan, Enzo Siragusa, Oliver, Euphony, Flamingo Sis, Dylan Nathaniel, and Melee. Good, good liner, mate. Do you know uh, what day you're playing? I'm playing on the Sunday, I nice. believe. No, I don't actually know. You should probably find out, mate. You should probably find out. Um, I think I'm playing on Sunday. Yeah, I am. So you're currently listening to my remix of Annabelle England, England. Um, probably not supposed to be playing this record because it's not even out, but the record's called So Hot. You're locked into the barbershop with with Will Clark. live on Instagram live so let's say hi to a few people can't read the screen we have to get closer what up Charles Murph go to spec savers mate I know I should have been what up Chelsea what up everybody what do you reckon of the remix lads mate I really really like it I feel like you've got a little bit more melodic yeah I'm glad you noticed I like it mate really like it 
<laughs> yeah, a little bit of chord structure, which uh, makes a change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you've got to love your friends. Just, just a bit of insight, mate. How, how long, I guess it depends what you're doing, but how long does it usually take for you to make a track? It depends. Um, obviously, you're both old school producers yourselves. Very old school. Uh, Dan used to be big in the trance game. Jason used to be big in the mumbatone game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything to say to that, Jace? Yeah. So how long does it take you to make a track? This, <laughs> this took me two days to finish this remix. Um, just depends. Depends on the ideas. This month, or August, we're actually, this is the September show, but August has been, no, we're in September now, aren't we? It is, yeah. Damn. Um, this month, I've written like pretty much an album's worth of new music, which has been amazing. I've not had as many shows. Um, so it's been nice to like be home and just like be do in the do studio. Most, do you do a lot on the road as well? Like as in on your laptop, on flights and stuff so like I've that? Just, I've just done some remixes. Um, and a couple of those were finished on the planes or like started on a train. Okay. Um, but not really, I don't like working on the planes or trains. It gets a bit too much. And also it kills your ears, man. Like, cause you got, cause you got like so much background noise mm. and then you got to play it really loud. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this mic. But the signal's a bit weird. Anyway. That was my remix of Annabelle England So Hot. Coming out soon, not too sure when. I'll make sure you will all know. Thanks for sitting in. Um, got a few more records to play on the show. We are still in the barber's chair section with my homies. They have picked the next record. This reminds them the most of uh, Cross Festival two years yep. ago. And it is. It's actually Justin Martin and myself and our VIP of Back to the Jungle. Obviously these boys are from Bristol, so, well, actually Dan's Welsh. Whoa. Whoa. What are you? All right, my lover. All right. <laughs> so yeah, this is Back to the Jungle. Uh, let's, let's, let's get a bit of a story. Why does this remind you so much of it? I think me and Dan were just um, a little bit a bit drunk shall we say listening to Will and then all of a sudden the breakdown which you'll hear in a bit will come on and then uh, we kind of lost ourselves a little bit is that right Dan? To be fair you said we were drunk which we were but it's probably the only thing I remember from the whole trip so uh, <laughs> what being drunk? Well just listen to this song um, yeah it's just a little bit unexpected I guess um, but yeah typical of Will really good track um and the crowd loved it. Ah, that was cute. Get yeah, rude. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> <laughs>
time it feels like i've just played all my own records this this whole rec- radio show but uh my cat snoop dub plate will clark on the remix out on underground audio i believe in a couple of days What do you think? Five out of five is good. Definitely a five out of five in my book. Yeah. Dan, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Five out of five. Really good, mate. Really, really Cheers, good. Cheers, mate. So I want to talk about um, after leaving Cross Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not, mate. Absolutely not. <laughs> so I'm going to set the scene. The festival had closed down. We were all in the artist area in the in the back caravan. And the boys were having a few drinks after having a few drinks in the day. And I was like, right lads, I'm gonna go back to the hotel, I'm gonna go freshen up, and then I'll meet you at the club. Spin. Because I was playing an after party with Claude, Green Velvet, and Ardalan. And they were like, sweet, we might see you there, we might not. What the hell happened then? 
Well, um, being the upstanding citizens that we were, we helped a couple of old ladies across the street. We also helped collect some litter. And then, um, yeah, we came and met you at the end at the club and, you know, helped you with your gig. Okay, not. That, <laughs> that wasn't the story I at think all. Not. Um, how did you get in the club? Considering know. like, considering like, you're two of my best mates. How did you get in the club? Basically, me and Dan being quite drunk, kind of met a load of random people. Decided to be really friendly, as we. As we are, because we're nice guys, um, and somehow blagged our way into a club that happened to have Will in it that we didn't even know. So, to be honest, I'm going to give it to Dan because I think he'll get it out a little bit better than I will because I can't actually remember a thing. <laughs> I can't remember a lot either, but yeah. Anyway, we, we were the who were we with? A load of random people, no idea. Um, just kind of chilling in this hotel, <laughs> drinks and some other stuff. Just, you know, chilling, chatting, you know, some guys from Britain, so everyone was interested in hearing what we had to say. Anyway, they were like, let's go to this club downtown. We were like, yeah, no worries. I think our mate Will is playing somewhere, but don't worry about Will. We're with you tonight, so we're going to have a good time. <laughs> so, yeah, we end up at this club. So we don't really want to pay, so we try and blag our way into the club. So we go to the door, and me and Jace claim that we are Jamie Jones's cousins. <laughs> And then the bounce on the door's like, yeah, no problem, guys. Come on in. Come on in, man. So we stroll in straight into VIP like we're some sort of gangsters. Everyone loving us. And who's playing on the decks? DJ Will Clark. <laughs> not Jamie Jones. Eyes. Jamie Jones was not in sight. <laughs> Jamie Jones was not in sight. But we were on the guest list because Will put us on there. So we went through all that effort for nothing, basically. But really good night. I, I remember I shed a little tear, if I remember rightly. <laughs> was that the drink, or was that just because you were emotional? No, I was very emotional seeing you playing up there. Aw, oh, mate. Oh. Hit me here, hit me yeah. here. Anyway, currently my top trim of uh, September, number two, is Eli and Fur, Night Blooming Jasmine, with Rodriguez Jr. on the remix. Really like this record. Let me know what you think, at DJ Will Clark on Twitter. At Closey Boy on uh, Twitter and at Jason Honeywell on Twitter. You are locked into the barbershop with Will Clark.
food. <laughs> so, Are yeah, you recording? Sorry. Mate. No joke. These boys only came around for some food. And I roped them into doing a radio show. Although I think we should do this more often. Yeah, I quite like it. I feel like, do you remember watching like SMTV years ago? And they used to like review three music songs. You had like the little panel and you used to give it a rating. <laughs> I kind of feel like that. Yeah. We should do it more often. Back anyway, in the 90s. Back in it, coming in my number one of September. Radio Slave Trans and Dixon is on the retouch. I love the bass line on this record. It's uh, pretty groovy. Get ready for it, lads. It's a good one. What do you think? I like that. It's nasty. Nasty. Sick. Sick. Good reviews there, lads. So guys, that is a wrap of this month's show. Huge love to uh, Dan and Jason for uh, stepping out, stepping up and uh, getting involved in the show. Cheers, mate. Always a pleasure. Thanks, babe. Thanks, mate. Cheers, love. Love you. Right, anyway, keep it locked. See you same time next month on the Barber's Shop. And I will what, see what? you... At Cross Festival. <laughs> <laughs> oh Guys, my God. everyone going to Cross Festival, have an absolute banging time. Love that. Absolutely. We won't be there this year because our visas got revoked. But anyway, <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> Peace. Support your local barbers, and I'll see you same time next time on the Barber Shop. Welcome to the Barber Shop.